Hi, welcome to Falling Star Tarot. We have a message for you that you need to hear right now. Now, if you're new here, subscribe to catch me again and hit that bell to see my weekly notifications. There's something that you really do need to hear, and we're going to bring this to you with the Oracle. I'm going to intuitively interpret them. Thank everyone who's been supporting the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, click the links below. And I want you to choose your reading by one, two, three, four, or five. I've left the timestamps down below, or we have an oracle. If you would like a little help choosing, just pause the video, and whatever is out front is the number you are meant to receive. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, file number one. The right time is any time that one is so lucky as to have. Henry James, um, if you were wondering about anything, yes, right now, if you have time left in this world, now is the time to do what you were wondering about. We've got number five with emotion. Five is the number of change. And Emotions deal not just with your feelings, but how we process thoughts and the exterior world. Emotions, I am constantly being reminded, are visitors. And we see these little bird shapes here. And I think that you are meant to be able to free yourself from them. If they do not help you take flight, then these emotions may not be serving you and you need to release them. Okay? We need to flow with where we are right now, not anywhere in the past. You see this person looks like they're kind of meditating and they're getting in touch with their higher self. I say this is kind of like a, a staircase and third eye. And of course, that universal love that we're always talking about. So if you're going to feel an emotion, try to lead yourself towards love. Okay? We have always got the opportunity to choose to love someone whether we stick with them or release them so if you've been in the fields and you've been wondering send out some love i think that's that's going to be returning to you <laughs> see this is almost me like a little um you know how like in the grandstands they have those bleacher like i i don't know the where it builds up and then you've got the audience. For some reason I'm seeing that, like that's where they would put the advertisements and the lights. I feel like you have an audience, not just the universe, but maybe everything, you know, in it. And are we the universe? That's kind of a profound thought. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, put some love out there and it's going to be returning to you. And it could be an extra message that change is on the way. We have dependability. And I see this as sort of like a, a love scene that turns into, I'm feeling family here. We've got protection. We've got safety. We've got communication with all this blue. And it seems like you are very much the same. I'm very, get, very much getting a family vibe here. Um, you are dealing with something that is, it's dependable. If you've been wondering about it, yes, you can depend on it. Well, fertility, let your life burst forth from the seeds of creation, sacral chakra, peach moonstone. I love peach moonstone, by the way. Um, well, this could be a message towards someone. See what I saw on that card. I'm, I'm not going to go any further. 
with that. Um, you'll see it or you won't, but this is definitely abundance and growth and kind of those sprigs that come up in the spring. If you've planted the seed of love, I feel like it's going to take hold in your life. Regenerate. Whilst I dream, I clear my mind of all negativity and my spirit is refreshed. So feel free to relax into it. Meditate. Clear your mind and reset. Regenerate. I really feel like something new is coming for you. We've got change, dependability, fertility, and regenerate. There's a start of a new cycle on its way to you. The time is now. Go ahead and start that. Okay? This is your reading. I hope you receive it well. And if you did, please leave me a comment down below. Feel free to compare notes. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to catch me again. Click the links below. Have fun. Well, number two, let's see what you need to hear right now. Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. Ralph Waldo Emerson. The presence of nature here is telling me that there is something going on that is just a natural cycle in your life. Um, and with the tree being bare, this might feel like an animal thing. Post-harvest, uh, everything has been has been sort of taken care of. Maybe you've reached a goal and it seems kind of barren right now. You're not really sure where to go. Well, be patient before you know it, another cycle is going to begin. And you're going to have plenty to do. Okay, this is a good time to rest. We have prayer number 34. Okay, so you need to hear that someone is in love with you and you need to reach out to them. Uh, this is your deity, whatever it may be. Um, so if you pray, if you meditate, whatever ritual that you do, um, you are being signaled to rejuvenate that, continue that. You have that time right now. You are at rest. We have balance. Okay. I see a lot of resilience here. And of course, balance. Yin and yang energy. This is um, being in perfect harmony with things. You see like they're holding hands. They're working together. Without one, the other would falter. So you may, you may already know that something is completely natural and needed. In your life you are at peace with it and you see they're smiling they're completely enjoying the process this is peace harmony and happiness that is on its way to you if you don't already have it it is within you get in touch with your spirituality to achieve it I love this card truth speak from your heart it is the only thing worth listening to throat chakra turquoise okay so if you have been holding back on your own authentic truth now is the time to start exercising your right to express it that is what is going to help you keep this harmony and balance in your life when you wear a mask or you misrepresent yourself you're cutting yourself off not just from the love of others yourself your own um, belief in yourself but from all the blessings that are in store for you in the future guidance my dreams give me inspiration and guidance okay so, so we're just talking about the divine uh, pay attention to whatever dreams you might have coming up this week because i think some something is coming to you as a message in them okay and keep speaking your truth if you're afraid to admit something you're afraid to manifest it i feel like as soon as you start speaking it it's going to it's just going to strengthen that truth it's going to be the more people that that know about it, um, if you know what I mean. That's a lot of wonderful blue energy. Communicate this week. Communicate to your deity and communicate to your loved ones, okay? This is the message that I have for you. I hope it finds you well. If it did, give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Let me know how I did.
subscribe to catch me again. Click the links below. Until next time, have fun. Hello, choice number three. What do you need to hear right now? Only by sacrificing everything to pleasure may one succeed in sowing a few roses on the thorns of life. And you can see this rose is completely, well, you can almost see that rose, right? Um, you can see this rose is completely made up of thorns. And I always look at this and think, you know, one man's thorn is another man's rose or person's, of course. Uh, Marquis de Sade, without pleasure, we would not be enjoying our lives very well. I think also this speaks a little deeply um, to like some of life's pains can bring about the most glorious experiences later because it's like a triumph over them. If you know, I always get that out of that image. If you've ever been pricked by a thorn, by the time it stops hurting, you're just so happy, you know, that can anyone match that happiness of coming through something like that? If you've ever experienced pain and thought, you know, I'm not going to come through it, this is your message. Um, on the thorns of life, you can sow many a rose. Change. A change is coming to you. And three is divinity to me. The building blocks of life, the trinity. Um, partnerships and unions. Teamwork being at peace with everything and enjoying it. Um, for some reason, I see that almost like one of those little lizards. I think adaptability is in the works. If you haven't been feeling like you could adapt to any situation, you're going to. Um, oh, definitely. I, I feel like something is building up. Building up to a glorious change for you. So if you've had a situation that was sort of paining you, um, pleasure is on its way. Repetition. Okay, this is interesting because this card speaks of cycles. And it warns that there could be something that is repeating in your life unnecessarily. Um, just simply... And you can't quite close your mind to it or your eyes to it. I, you can see that it's not, uh, it's really not serving you or anything around you. I like that we have, we have these three out here. We've got one here too. We've got these three out here going towards change. Um, I feel like this is going to change. If there's been something that keeps cycling around and you know it just isn't doing you any good, this is going to change. It is natural, yes that things like this can happen, but we are, um, we're kind of the makers of our own reality and we can initiate this change. You can break any cycle, anything that, that you don't want coming back into your life or repeating any behaviors you don't want to repeat. Repetition, however, also is love. So remember, if you're not repeating anything that you love, you're, you're just doing this in vain. So I think you, you can do this. You know the difference and you have what it takes to kind of put the work in. This could also be a message that whatever you need to get to work on, even if it seems tedious, get after it because it's going to be worth it in the long run. It is the change that you need. We've got heart chakra, jade, compassion, Resolve your conflicts with compassion. Okay, so if it's something that keeps repeating in your life and you don't want it coming back, if use a little compassion on it, and I think that's going to be the, uh, the elixir to the situation. When you meet someone with your worries, you usually just, it kind of like solidifies in their mind that you're someone to worry about. So if, if you're afraid of the situation, if you want to say, oh, I don't, I'm rejecting the situation, I want it back. Try to be compassionate because kindness and, and all of that, as hard as it is to muster in certain, certain times, it is going to sort of protect you and guide you through this. 
They're not going to know how to answer you back when you're being kind with another repetition of the same stuff. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> they're, they're not going to be able to come back with something negative if you give, keep giving them positive. It's just going to block them. Fearlessness. I pay close attention to my heart and mind. I do not allow fear to distract me. I think that's pretty powerful with that individual right there. It looks quite, quite fearful. Sorry about all the glare. <laughs> but fearlessness, compassion and fearlessness, that is what you would need to hear right now. So do go forth with compassion and know that it is protecting you. It's like your raincoat against your fears. Okay? That's what I have for you. I hope it finds you well. If it did add value to the, your day, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Check out the links below. And as always, have fun. Number four. What do you need to hear right now? The long sobs of the violins of autumn wound my heart. A languorous monotone. Wow, we had another one about autumn, I think, in number two. So if you've been feeling like post-harvest, um, a little like, uh, I don't know, perhaps you're finding yourself feeling a little like the, all of the thrill is gone and everything exciting has happened and you're just kind of like, now what? Don't worry, there is a spark on its way to you. I see some sort of new creative endeavor, idea, passion even on its way to you. Let the leaves settle, okay? Uh, it's not going to be long. The moment. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a lot like the second reading. So I believe you're, you're being instructed to enjoy the moment, every moment. This moment right here is the only moment that you have right now. It's really the only reality that is. If you've been dreaming about something else, maybe something that came before, yeah, yeah, enjoy the moment that you have right now. There is something beautiful in it for you, a gift that you will not have again. So take, take the present as the present that it is. There's play on words. I they feel like you're going to have a lot of community support coming toward you. I see all these little shapes here. And I just think there's a lot of community support. And you might even find yourself going away somewhere and enjoying yourself for a little while. You could have some people in your life, too, that are wanting to spend some time with you. If you need to connect to them... Uh, via, you know, like a FaceTime or something like that. Maybe you should do that. Take the chance and do that. It might really be what you need. Okay. Shift. This is terrific. So I feel like you're going to be getting in touch with your higher self and communicating on a higher level. So these, this kind of, I don't know, let down tone right here. Everything's kind of gotten stagnant. I know how that can feel. I feel like there's going to be a shift, a renewal. Look at all this beautiful um, lavender energy. That's your third eye chakra. Your third eye could be opening up. You could be experiencing some things. Uh, people say that they are awakening. Maybe you're even just remembering things. Um, acquiring knowledge a little bit easier. This is going to be really good for you. Um, as your energy is shifting out of this energy and into something new and exciting and, and happy and very, you're very much going to want to be in the moment if they're going to be that good of moments. Okay. Oh, we got more purple and crown chakra. Blue lace agate. Recognize the divine in the mirror. Oh my gosh. So you are going to see as though in a mirror. The man in the mirror. Oh, that's beautiful. That 
I don't know if that could have come, came out better, those two cards together. I'm not sure what to say about it other than if you've been wondering about doing something, yeah, maybe you should be doing that meditating or whatever it is that you do. If you're into stones, amethyst or anything purple might be nice to work with, but it's not necessary. Uh, some people do say having the color purple around can help work with the crown chakra that way. If that, if you think that might work for you, it's not a bad idea. You could paint your nails that way or, or just uh, even wear a bracelet or put up a picture that has some violet tones in it. Change the background on your phone. I don't know. Whatever might work for you. Okay, let's see what else. Be open. Oh my gosh, this is, this is really wild. So maybe you are opening your third eye. I am open to new possibilities. I welcome new beginnings. Okay, so shed these feelings. Let the leaves settle. Enjoy every moment and be open. Something new is on the horizon. You have new possibilities and new beginnings as long as you open your, your hands to them, your arms to them. Um, gosh, this is beautiful. I don't know what else to say. So I'm going to leave you with that. Um, if this added value to your day, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to catch me again. Check out the links below. Until next time, have fun. Hello, number five, the starry heavens above and the moral law within. Oh my. So I feel like this is a very much an as above, so below type message that whatever, whatever is kind of going on within will go on without. And what by that, I mean, whatever is going on within you is going to shape your world without whatever is up above, you know, is going to fit those laws within. Yes, I feel very much as above, so below. So this may be a good time to kind of take inventory, take stock. Maybe you haven't been feeling like things have been quite fair or matching. Um the world that you expected or or feel you feel like maybe the world just isn't as as it seems um there's probably a reason for that look within that is the part of us that we can change we need to partner with the rest of it no oh my gosh so i don't know what this is an answer to but if you had a question no, with this showing up with morality in question, perhaps you already knew. The answer would be no. We've got 11. That is a twin flame type energy to me. It's the pillar. It's strength. It's finding a match as above, so below, within, without. Something is matching your energy. That's what I'm getting. We have the circle which is spirit. We have the star, which is attention. And I like how we have the target on both of these. I'm not sure what this is an answer to. Let me know down below if you were thinking, if you came here with a question in mind. I know not everybody did, but I think we're being told to do what you know is right. Do what you feel is right. Now, not everyone has the same right and wrong. We're all, I think we're all kind of like little programs like in the matrix <laughs> maybe that's not the best way to put that but we all have kind of our designated purposes in life and we, whatever this is if it feels wrong to you you already know not to do it do what you know feels right absence oh my goodness this feels to me very much like the void and i'm seeing all these dark stars and we've got absence Yes, this is like accepting the void. Accept the unlimited possibilities and potentials that come from the number zero. From the very point of origin. Sometimes having, having you know, like an, an O instead of a one, as far as computers go, and having nothing in your basket is the greatest potential. At least it's clean. And you can put, you can fill it up with something new. 
you know, if you've washed a cup, there's nothing better than a new, newly washed cup. You can put whatever you want in it. I think that's a beautiful message. I hope that that stands out to you too. Um, that little horse is making me think of a rocking horse. This is a very young and high-spirited energy I'm getting from these. Okay, but yeah, I want to say that sometimes no is the best answer you can receive. Um, it's, just, it's just the best thing you can have, the best thing you can give, too. We've got third eye chakra. Signs. There will always be signs to guide you on your true path. I feel like some signs are going to be presenting themselves to you in the next week. So pay attention. This could be in a lot of different forms, maybe numbers or symbols or wildlife. Something, something's going to stand out to you, even on a billboard. You're going to notice a billboard sign. I know that's kind of, can't. <laughs> I know how that seems, but trust me, you're going to notice something. Lessons. I look for opportunities in life's challenges via my dreams and I learn the lesson. So you're going to be... During your dream life, your dream assignment is to look at what is challenging you at night. Because this is an opportunity that you are resistant to. I, f I feel like this is really on target for somebody. There's Maybe you feel like you're, you've got some unwanted attention even. Yes, you've got a sign on the I, I feel like something's going to appear to you in a dream and that's going to be kind of your wake up call you're going to know exactly that you you know this is the direction I'm taking this is what I was meant to do I don't know if this is work or love uh, it could be school okay this is what I see for you if this resonated with you leave me a comment down below subscribe to catch me again click the links until next time have fun